Good morning, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, www.orlandopainters.net. We are here in Sanford. At the Huff residence. Nice neighborhood. A lot of nice houses in here. And we're going to be painting the entire exterior of this house. Got a few issues on this house. Me and uh, Matt, the homeowner, we've been kind of going back and forth for almost two years now on this house. He was going to pull the trigger on it a long time ago and it's just kind of been one of them things where it got drug out until now. So, here we are. They're doing a dramatic color change. Um, looks like they put some color samples here. I think that color there on the top there and that stucco there. Next to my guy Jeff there. Looks like that's going to be the body. That dark brown is going to be on the garage door, front and back doors. And the trim I think is staying somewhat similar. I'm not sure. I didn't really open up the paint and look at it yet. I got six or seven guys here today. And this is one of our residential jobs that we have going on today. I'll get back across town and check on my commercial crew. Good size house, nothing really hard about it, but there are some definite issues here. And you see this a lot on the edges of these window boxes. We'll put a really good industrial primer on that and kind of see if we can stop that rust from coming through. He's got that on quite a few of the windows. And then the real problem areas right there where that metal is, where that rust is at. I guess he's got some really bad holding water problems there that's causing all this metal to rust out. I mean, it is corroded. Bubbled up really bad. I'll try to zoom in on it a little bit. You can kind of see the texture on it, how bad it is. I mean, that's... That's pretty severe. So what we're going to do is uh, get a couple guys up there with angle grinders with uh, like metal grinding discs. And we're going to try to smooth it out the best we can. I'm sure it's pitted like something unbelievable and I don't want to tear it up too much, you know. So we're going to try to smooth that out with angle grinders and then we'll apply a two-part epoxy primer to that and Put a couple coats on that and try to get that problem solved there. But it, I, I don't think you're going to solve the problem by just using a real sophisticated primer. I think it'll hold up for a while. But if you're it's, if you got standing water every time it rains or something just sitting there, it's just a matter of time until that rust comes back through. Obviously, something needs to be done with that floor or something up there, but. I mean, the best thing you can do is grind it and put a two-part epoxy primer on it, let that dry, put another coat on it. And then just kind of see what happens. Definitely looks like he's going to have to do some sort of warp to that floor up there. You can see I got a, well, one of my guys, but there's another guy. He must be at the trailer, but he's working on these patches on the ceiling. You can see where that drywall is just... And all that is, is regular drywall with drywall mud down texture on there. These builders don't even put green board up there. And they, I mean, they try to make it look like stucco, but I'm sure your house is the same way. Mine is as well. So they put drywall up there. It's just straight, regular drywall. 
they paint these houses with flat paint and every time it rains or any kind of humidity it just soaks into them ceilings and they start to fall apart people think that's stucco and they rinse their houses down with the garden hose you know every once in a while and they spray that ceiling thinking it's stucco and that's about the worst thing you can do but you can see all the my guy's gonna try to do the best he can with that he's gonna put some drywall mud on there and retexture it we'll prime it and paint the ceiling this area here we're not even messing with this is really not what we do we're into paint sealers specialty coatings not a we do minor drywall repair and we're definitely I'm not tackling this part here he looks like he needs a couple two or three sheets replaced here and then retextured yeah so it's in pretty bad shape right here so we're gonna paint like half the ceiling he's gonna get this repaired we'll come back whenever we're doing another job over here in Sanford we'll uh I'll send a guy over and he can paint the rest of the ceiling for him once it's repaired. But it's gonna be a dramatic color change. Totally different color scheme. Should turn out pretty nice. It's all Sherwin Williams resilient satin. He's got tons of stucco cracks as you can see. But again, when we get done painting this house, you won't see those patches at all. Definitely a little trick to doing those and painting over them and not seeing them. But today's Wednesday, February 8th. The house was pressure washed uh, yesterday morning. So it dried out overnight and we get it all the cracks patched all the windows uh, covered with our 3m clear film we'll get the house sealed today we'll get all the soffits and fascia and gutters sprayed today get the drywall uh, ceiling patch on the upstairs porch ceiling we'll get that patched up today Get that grinding on that bubbled rust there done today with the one coat of the primer on it today. And tomorrow we'll get into the body paint here and and then trim the sucker out here and we'll be done. So not done by the end of the day tomorrow I and mean, they may take a few hours to make sure everything's flawless and fine tuned on Friday morning. Make sure we have razor sharp paint lines. Make sure there's everything's perfect. We'll trench around the house a little bit, all the way around the perimeter. Go down about four to six inches, paint that, let it dry, backfill it nice and even. Get these doors all sprayed. I like spraying doors, they uh, just come out nice and smooth like a factory finish takes a little bit more time but I'm looking at this house right now you can look at that front door somebody rolled that front door I don't know how well you can see it but look at the texture all over that door this looks horrible you can see it probably pretty good now and it looks like a gloss paint it's just showing every imperfection on that door I mean that's the focal point of their house look at that that's unacceptable so we spray our doors Look perfect, uniform, nice and smooth factory finish. He had some stucco work done there above that arch there. That's all raw stucco. We'll put a a stucco primer on that first. We'll do that today. So it'll be ready to paint tomorrow. But again, this is Dustin with Orlando Painters, www.orlandopainters.net. Appreciate you watching this short video of one of our Sanford residential house painting projects. And I'll make a final video so you can 
compare the difference, the before and after. Should be pretty dramatic change. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the week.